Hello families. Today we're going to talk about the importance of decoding or sounding out words. And we're going to start with a very simple pattern when you're sounding out words. First of all, when you sound out words, you want to start from the beginning of the word, run your finger under every letter and say it's sound, and then blend those sounds together. The boys are really good at doing this. I want to focus on our first pattern. When you're trying to decode, you want to find the patterns in the words. So our first pattern is up here on the screen. You can see it. And it says, when a word has only one vowel and ends in one or more consonants, the vowel is usually short. Okay, that's our rule, but how does that apply to our words? So take a look at this word. This word has a consonant, then a vowel, then a consonant. This word has a consonant, then a vowel, then two consonants. So let's look at the first word. The first question you ask yourself is, where is the vowel? So you find the vowel right here, and this one happens to be in red. You find the vowel, okay? It has one vowel. And then it says, it ends in one or more consonants. So you say to yourself, is there a consonant right after the vowel? Well, there is, it's the letter T. If you can answer yes to both of those questions, then this vowel is usually short. So that's how we know the difference between whether this says a ah or a. Ah. So this word is k, at, cat. Let's take a look at this word. You start with your consonant, vowel, and you have two consonants afterwards. First question, where is the vowel? Here it is. It's my letter U. I have to decide does it say a uh or you? Well, let's find out. Let's our, ask ourselves the second question. Does it have a consonant or more than one consonant right after the vowel? It does. It has an S and an H. So because we find the vowel and it has a consonant or two consonants or even three consonants right after, that makes this vowel a short vowel. So it's going to say a. Uh. So now we sound this word out. Rush, and we blend it together and we get the word rush. Okay, so one vowel and ends in one or more consonants. I want to show you some other examples. So if I have the word, this is a made up word, it's not a real word. If I have this word, uh, let's do this. Okay, if I have this word, I ask myself, where's the vowel? Well, here's the vowel right here, okay? And I'm actually going to, here's your vowel. Is there one or more consonants after the vowel? Here you go, here's your consonant after the vowel. That tells me that this vowel must be a short vowel. So it will say, uh. So now we say the sounds, j, uh, b. We blend them together. Jub. Now, this can work in multisyllable words as well. Uh, there we go. <laughs> this can work as multisyllable words as well. So if I have a word like um, this one, another made up word. I'm going to change this vowel. There we go. Um, so I have a multisyllable word here. I can use the same pattern. We're going to take this word and we're going to divide it into syllables. We're going to divide it right between the two consonants. There's a vowel in each syllable. When I look at my first syllable, interestingly, it doesn't have anything in front of the vowel. That doesn't matter. Our two questions are, can we find the vowel? Here's our vowel. And does it have a consonant right after the vowel? And it does. So that tells me that this vowel is short. So when we sound this one out, we get app, app. Same thing here. Does it matter that there's a consonant before the vowel? No. We find our vowel, it's the letter O. And we took, take a look after the vowel. Do we see a consonant? Yes, we see the letter T. 
That tells me, because there's a consonant after the vowel, that this is a short vowel. So this sound, uh, this syllable sounds like this. Sot. Blend them together. Sot. And our syllable is sot. Now we blend them both together, both syllables, ap, sot. And we have a word that focuses on, we're going to go back to this, we found the pattern. So if you can find the pattern, one vowel ends in one or more consonants, it's usually a short vowel. That tells us how to read the word. You don't have to memorize the rule, but what I want you to do is practice finding that pattern in the words. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be posting some more with some other rules and some other ways to find patterns in words. Have a great day. Bye-bye.